Well, we want to answer some of the email questions you've sent in. Pat, this first one comes from Dolores, who says, The more I pray, the worse things seem to get in my life. I pray at least three times a day for things to get better, but my life continues to fall apart. I'm so overwhelmed. I've determined that God isn't listening to my prayers because I was a bad girl before I became a Christian. Why won't God listen to me? Has he given up on me? <laughs> Dolores, God has not given up on anybody. Um, but when you're praying, you're, you're praying the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Stop asking for things to get better, because that means you're focusing on things that are bad. Start thanking the Lord. Just worship Him. Just, just worship Him. Just tell Him you love Him and, and thank Him for who He is. And stop worrying about your life getting better or what you did when you were younger. And you so you were a bad girl. So big deal. He's forgiven you. So get over it and get on with life. But don't be praying, oh, God, I pray that the terrible things that I've been going through will change. So what are you focusing on? You're focusing on the terrible things that have been going on. Just love him. Focus on him. And watch what happens. All right? Good word. This is Becky who says, I'm growing very concerned over my daughter's behavior the last few weeks. She and her friends are studying a book about Wicca and witchcraft. This book is completely brainwashing them. It claims that witches follow the teachings of Jesus better than Christians do. I tried erasing it from her Kindle, but I think her friend has it on her iPhone. I can ground her, but can't keep her home from school. How do I handle this situation? You pray. You bind the spirits, and uh, Lord willing, your daughter, if you brought him up pro her properly, she'll get over this. This is just a passing phrase. Little girls want to have seances and levitation and all that stuff. They want to play with the occult. It's just, it's just one of the things that kids do, and um, it's it's wrong. But you, you you come with a heavy hand against her, and she'll just rebel and go deeper into it. So I, if I were you, though, I would. See if you couldn't get her to a young life camp. Uh, they have young people who love Jesus and they're filled with God's love and power. And that's what she needs is a whole new environment of friends. She's got a friend who's taken her into this stuff. Get her some positive, and the positive is different friends, mm -hmm. all right? This is Becky who says, I've been taught that the reason we pray in Jesus' name is because Jesus is the bridge that carries our prayers to God. I often fall asleep before I finish praying. Does this mean that my prayers never get to God because I don't say in Jesus' name? We have this <laughs> thought that, that there's this great gap, and we've got to s send our prayers up, and the, there's a gap in there, and if they don't get there, I, I went to sleep, and they were halfway up. According to what Jesus said, the Father is in us. We are in the Father. In a sense, we are talking to Him, and it doesn't go away. But it, Jesus is like a power of attorney, uh, you know, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's the power of attorney because He died, and that's our access to the Father. But uh, your prayers will be answered. We've got one more question. This is Mariah who says, I'm 15 years old. My mom tells me the prayer works, but I don't believe her. Can I test God on this? I want to ask him something and see if he gives it to me. Mariah, you know, test God. Uh, you know, the Bible says our God is a consuming fire. Mm -hmm. He is awesome in power. Think of the sun. The sun is a... Uh, part of a solar system, which is part of a galaxy, which is a part of a much larger universe, and God created all of it. The sun, if you got close to the sun, you would be uh, burned up. Don't play with God. Honor Him and worship Him. He is God Almighty. He is the author of, of life and the author of the universe. And Pray with him and love him and, and say, God, reveal yourself to me. Show me and, and submit yourself to him. Don't say, I want to test you now. Uh, I want that uh, uh, $100 to come on the doorstep tomorrow, and if he does, I'll believe in you. If you don't, I'm going to go someplace else. Don't test God. Don't tempt God. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That's all the time we have for okay. questions today. Right. But boy, lots of questions about prayer. Yeah.